Players are going to turn left into another roundabout, and there it's full on tailwind into that roundabout we talked about. And it slightly drags down. As we see Neil Pollitz really committing, tongue out. And wait for the surge from Little Trek. They're probably going to wait about 3k to go. Pollitt is doing an immense amount of work on the front. Astana Kazakhstan moves forward as they bring Case Bowl into position. The train is there. Look at Victor Campana. It's an absolute full-out effort to try and take this group to the finish line. On his, li on his wheel as debutant to Bramson and debutant Enkhorn. And just behind is Kaspar Askreen. 3,300 metres to go. The gap is only 10 seconds as they come round that left-hander. Coming into that left-hander, now they're going to get that uh, that big roundabout. It's going to be very important to see what side they, they can they can take. Are they, is it going to be on the left, like on the roadbook? On the right, like on the roadbook? Or do they have to go left? Three kilometers to go now as Enkorn flicks the elbow. They know that this is their huge opportunity, the chance for the breakaway to go all the way to the finish in Borg on Brest. They go right-hand side of the roundabout. So this means there's going to be the center aisles on the other way, and you're going to have to cross from those four lanes back onto the other side, as they do now with the motorbikes. It's also the first time we see Astana coming into the front with a perfect lead out. Here they are. They come round the corner, two and a half kilometres to go. All four of these riders looking for their first ever Tour de France stage win. There's the right-hander. And uh, now it is Astana with Alexei Lutsenko. On the wheel right now is uh, Nicky Assant. Yes, as Bahrain Victoria is trying to lead out Nicky Assant. We forgot about him, very fast man. But of course, Nicky Assant is the lead out man for, for Bauhaus. Downhill now, and it's fast downhill to the final run into the finish. Enkhorn, fast turns now, flicks of the elbow. Askreen looks like he's set, but the peloton is roaring its pace now. Downhill as they try to bring this back together. It's on the front, the team of Astana for Case Bowl. Only 1,400 metres left. This breakaway is still in with a chance as Askreen goes through the left-hander. Left-hander looks back. He knows it's about just see the Flamme Rouge. After the Flamme Rouge, it's going to be that long turn to the right. But the peloton is surging behind again with Astana. It's a little bit messy in there. Alexander Kristoff is up towards the front for the team of Uno X. His teammate is there, in, still in the breakaway. Astana moved to the right-hand side. Campanets gives it another little bit of throttle. A Bramson, 1,000 metres, and the breakaway is still away. Yeah, and I think Campanard is really sacrificing himself for... Uh for his teammate, just uh, by the feeling that he's going to do this kind of monster pull. It's the only chance. He knows he has to commit. Yes, he is. He's really committing to his teammate, this, using all his TT powers. This is a big move now by Victor Campanat. Senkorn gets ready. Are they going to make it? They are in sight of the finish line now. 500 metres to go as Campanat empties the tank to try and give Enkorn a stage win in the Tour de France. They look across. Kasper Askreen is there. Abramson is there. Is there going to be heartbreak? 250 metres to go. Kasper Askreen kicks now. They're going to make it. The breakaway is going to go to the finish or is it behind is Pedersen and Philipson Econ on the right on the left in the middle the breakaway makes it Askreen takes the stage by about 10 meters so if you want to ever question why you go under breakaway this is the perfect example why well done